The Secret Service agent credited with saving President Ronald Reagan's life in 1981 is being mourned today. Jerry Parr died of congestive heart failure on Friday. He was 85 years old. Parr was the agent who shoved Mr. Reagan into the back of the presidential limousine and ordered the car to the hospital during the assassination attempt. He was not supposed to be there, but that decision may have saved Reagan's life. In 2012, Bob Schieffer talked to Parr for Sunday morning about that day. The first shot, the first thing that you see, the first yell, the first scream, the first violence, you go into action, cover. Cover and evacuate. Cover and evacuate. Get, get it embedded in your head, head as a muscle memory. At that point, well, I and think you so. were operating on more than, than well, it was training. It was instinct. Yeah, to. yeah. In, instinct, intuition, a combination of both, maybe, and all the training and, and all the fact that I, I wasn't afraid of him to handle his body like that. In other words, I think when you're you're a young agent, you're reluctant to do anything. You're touch and grab him or do mm -hmm. something with him, but I wasn't, and so it just happened to be that day for me. I, didn't, I hoped it had never come because of what happened with Kennedy. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan issued a statement saying Jerry Parr was one of her heroes. She says without Parr, her husband would have been killed by the assassin's bullet.